happen to get to certain spots. There's just a straightaway, but that extra pass to the corner, they love to extend the floor. And what they're doing at the same time, pretty good pace though for that first or so five minutes or so going up and down. Not many unnecessary fouls. A little bit more size in now for Central Connecticut with Brown, but what a backdoor cut and look as Snotty hit the cutting Scandlebury. Josh Alexander likes to post up inside. You wouldn't think that for a guy who's barely six feet Body strength tall. to be able to post up, but it was a good example of a guy not rushing into his shot as an experienced player for Mike Anderson's team. Preseason first team all Big East. Here's the post up. Now watch the delay, right? Here's the delay. See that a little fake? Leon the high. There's the extra dribble, and there's the turnover. Is that key points? Little Euro step won't fall, and the rebound falls into the hands of Scandlebury. Oh, that was a no look pass to the corner, looking for Alexander behind the back. Stanley finally controlled the basketball to lay it in. It in three. That shot is blocked, and Alexander can run. How about that? Boy, a great one is the point guard position. Look at the pressure out front. Steps on the sideline. It goes to trigger that fast break down the other way. And here's the delay and the finish. Well, one of the things that's gotten Central Connecticut because of the excess dribbling. Patrick Sellers told us we've got to take care of the basketball. Three turnovers inside the last minute for the Blue Devils. And now a turnover the other way. Watch from behind, too. They're very good at behind. And that's going right in front of us. Nobody hit him. Nope. And he lost the basketball. Yeah, just running alongside of him, pestering him, though. St. John's turning it up a defensive notch here. Trying to jump into the lead. Alexander in among two different players, and he's got a shot at a three-point play. Well, the two guards he's up against on that player. If you're Central Connecticut, you get it over and get it moving. Don't hang on to it. Just look at how aggressively they are playing just inside half court. And the bigs can step across and help out on the guards, too, defensively. Jaden Brown gets it taken away. A.J. Storr, the freshman. And now Alexander for three. Amos is big there. They wanted to bring the big man out with him, but ultimately couldn't get it to the basket. Because that had a fall away, you better make sure you're really leveling that one into the air pretty strongly. Bello tries to settle things down. Beating it inside to Jones, who's been fairly quiet here in the first half. Got his own rebound, can't hit the putback. Third time's not the charm. There's that corner again, they have the numbers. And on the open look, Scandlebury buries it. The old days, Scott would go towards the basket. Now they flare out to the corners. And that's why that was a flare out. We were talking about that before the game with Patrick Sellers. They can handle here in the first half with the Blue Devils. Amos. Much he was, better luck. He was lined up for it. Oh, either way. <laughs> Jones finally got one to fall in traffic. Yeah, he had to twist his way to that one. Also. He had been 0 for 5 before that one, but now a three-point lead. As we wind down here toward the final half minute of the first half. That came open, but it's of Andre Curbelo. Doesn't look like a whole lot bothers him. No, not at all. They'll probably start to attack at the seven-second mark. Here we go. And Alexander finds the cutter. Guess who? Curbelo. Better to connect on the passes than make cool with them. That one missed just. There goes Jones. Kept the handle on the ball and got the bucket. And shooting the basketball. This run is now 11 to nothing. Growing the lead out to 13. Oh. 
That's just a pretty look. Amos made eye. And it goes behind the defense, too, which is very important to kind of get St. John's to retrieve a little bit. From the corner, an air ball. Jones anticipated it. Yeah, the air ball is usually the... Amos again. We were lined up with that one. It looked good right out of his hand. And he's got some pretty... Another timeout in the making. Blue Devils trying to hang around, but St. John's right now just a little bit too little to Get back and make things happen. Muhammad Keita is in the ball game now for St. John's. You'll notice him in the middle. He's 7-1. Pretty active guy, shot blocker. And Mike Anderson said he moves really well, a former soccer player. You can see him right there, close into the ball. And he pushed him out. You can focus a guy at the defensive end, get a lot of mileage out of him. Three-pointer is good for Rodgers. Anytime a coach gets a player of that height, that length on his team, you just kind of salivate about what he could do defensively. From the corner again. That's four on the night now for A.J. Storr. Boy, he loves that. He's confident and he knows the ball eventually. If I just wait it out, I'll get the ball. And if I do, be ready to shoot it because nobody's getting to him in the corner. He's got 14 points here. Nice skip pass again. Another one right there. They found the open guy. Not once, twice, but three different times. But they can't get to the zone. And Amos down with the rebound. That's exactly what we're talking about. Not the Shot, block. But here's that corner jumper. Nothing but the bottom. And to your point, watch him stay away. Off here tonight. And St. John's walks out with a comfortable 17-point win. Our final score, St. John's 91, Central Connecticut 74. We'll be back to wrap things up.